Hey everybody, it's John here from TheGimmyAct.com. Here we are today back in Yesterday Origins, grabbing the professional knowledge achievement. This is to get all the interactions and hotspots at the antique shop. Starting off, you are going to play as Pauline first. Hit Y to do the self-examination. You want to get her lips, her eye, her stomach, and then her shoes. Then what you want to do is you want to go inside the antique shop and look at the back corner. You will notice a painting here as well as this black case. Make sure you get both of those. Once you're done with here, you want to look at this photography spotlight right here. Then you have this statue which has a bunch of secondary interactions. So interact with that. You want his face, his hand, his necklace, his chest, the scepter he's holding in the opposite hand, and then the base which should have some Japanese characters on it. Then you have this second statue right here in the back right corner. Make sure you get that. Once you're done here, you want to head to this workbench and then you have a bunch of stuff here that you need to grab that's important to the story. You have this jar of ink on the second shelf. You have the fixative spray, which is to the right. You have the paintbrush on top. Make sure you grab that. Also on top, you have the statue of Nefertiti and you have this portrait of your father. And then on the bottom part, you have the Photos of the two coins, make sure you grab that, and then finally the hammer. You should have gotten a total of four inventory items in that little exchange. Make sure once you get control of your character, you hold left trigger and then interact with each of these items when they are in your inventory. These do count as observations, so make sure you don't miss them. Alright, last thing in the room is going to be this treasure chest. You want to interact with the two latches, one on each side. There is also one in the middle that has a pivot stuck in it. So what you want to do is you want to use the hammer to try to knock it out. Unfortunately, it's a nice chest and we don't want to ruin things, so we need a nylon hammer, which unfortunately we don't have, but we will get the clue to this, and that's going to be your first right trigger item. Right trigger items work the same like left trigger items, at least in terms of this achievement. Once you get one, you want to hold right trigger to open up your inventory and then hit A to view them over again. So to get the nylon hammer, which one do you want to go outside? You are supposed to talk to Boris, but before we do that, we're going to grab a few interactions first. Grab the storefront in front of the gate right here. You want to grab this sign up here by the garage shutters, and then you want to grab the van. Finally, talk to Boris. You want to make sure you do an examination on him before we talk to him. So hit Y, and you want to make sure you get his bandana, his t-shirt, and then his pants. Either talk to him or show him the right trigger clue and he should fish out the nylon hammer from the van. Bring it back, make sure you examine it, of course, because it is an inventory item, and then use this thing on the treasure chest. Once you get this thing open, you are going to find the camera and the magnifying glass in here, both inventory items, both of which you have to use left trigger interactions to get with, and then another interaction in the form of this book right here in the middle. So make sure you get all those three. The camera is actually going to have a secondary interaction. So keep that in mind when you are looking at it. So when looking at the camera, you want to turn it around and you want to interact with the SD card slot. Then what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to go over to that statue again, and then you're supposed to combine it with the camera, and that should give you the SD card clue, which of course, right trigger to examine. Make sure you do that. And that should be it for Pauline's first part of the story. So make sure you head over to the garage and then we are going to meet up with Mr. John yesterday. 
right here at his desk. Make sure you talk to him, hit Y to do an examination. You want to get his eye, his hair, his hand, and his shoes. You should ask him for the SD card and then leave automatically. Hit the X button and then hit A to switch over to him. And this is how you switch characters. Once you switch over to him, you should have two right trigger items, a website link and then this woman named Baxter that you get in the cutscene. You should have also a few starting inventory items, the cell phone and the coin. The coin has a secondary interaction in the form of the symbol. Then you want to hit Y to do a self-examination. You want to get those same things from earlier. So your eye, your hair in the form of the back of your head, your hand, and then your shoes. Turn around and interact with the computer. You should have three things you can interact with here. The keyboard, the screen, and then the SD card in the SD card slot, which should add the SD card to your inventory, which you need to left trigger interact with once you are done. Before you exit out of the laptop computer, what you want to do is you want to combine the website link with the screen. That should take you to johnyesterday.com. Each one of these posts are going to count as one hotspot. They fill you in on the backstory of the game as well as what happened in the prequel, which is just called Yesterday. It's a game that came out on PC in 2012 if you care to play it. Of course, it doesn't have achievements, so let's hope for an HD remaster or something. But let's keep scrolling down and keep hitting A on all of these entries, and each of them will count towards the achievement. You can pay attention to them if you want to. They fill you in on some key backstory that will come into play later on. But as long as you get all of them, you should be good for the achievement. Last one is going to be this guy called Master, and once you read his entry, you can hit B to close the laptop. Once you are back out, remember to get the SD card in your inventory, hold left trigger, hit A, and then you should examine that. Then you want to go back to your desk, you want to get this thing behind, which is in a frame, it's like an alchemy guide, and then get the wallpaper that's falling off up here. All right, then get the antiques in the middle of the room. This is going to have a bunch of secondary interactions. First off, you have the statue of the phoenix. Then you have this vase right here. And then you have this little box that becomes an inventory item, very key to the story. And then finally, you have this phonograph, which is very, very important to another achievement called the Redhead Melody, which we'll make a separate guide for if you need extra info on that. Make sure you examine the box. This has a secondary interaction by opening it. All right, last thing on the first floor is going to be this statue of this knight right here. I believe he's a Templar, like from Assassin's Creed. So after that, we're going to climb up the stairs. You should be on this top walkway. Don't go through the garage shutters. Instead, go here to this cross. You want to examine it. You want to examine the gear, the cross itself, and then you have the bottom part. So the middle of the cross right here with the four holes. Make sure you get the bottom part. This is a very missable solution to a puzzle that may or may not affect your speed run depending on you if you overlook it it should give you a clue called cross make sure you interact with that using right trigger also open up this door in here is going to be a painting it's an entire room just for a painting head back to the first floor and then head through the double doors you should now be in the front of the shop head to the front counter in the left corner is going to be this candle holder thing which video games have taught me that that thing is called a candelabra interact with this box of books you should get the tissue paper you want to interact with the books to examine them, and then finally on the bottom you want to get the business card. Two inventory items, which means you have to left trigger interact with them after you are done. Then you have the lamp up top as well as the set of shields in the back. And then finally on the counter anyways, you have the printer which when you interact with it, you'll notice it has low ink, which will give you the ink cartridge clue. Right trigger, interact with that. You know how the deal works. Every time you get a new item, make sure you interact with it before you forget. Interact with these statues on the little side table right here, and then you can grab this pipe. It will add to your inventory. You know the deal. Left trigger, and then make sure you knock that one off the list. All right, once we're done, we're going to head all the way back outside. So just backtrack, head through the garage shutter doors. Once you're outside, make sure you get the sign up top, the gate to get the storefront, and then the van Do a self-examination on Boris, and this time it's pretty much the same thing. You want to get his bandana and his shirt, but instead of his pants, you're going to get his sleeve. It's going to be on his left arm, so you're right.
talk to him or either show him the right trigger clue of the cartridge and he should give you the ink cartridge that's full. Then you're supposed to backtrack all the way to the front of the shop and then add this thing back to the printer, which should do that. Remember to left trigger interact with the cartridge once it's in your inventory, by the way. So add it in and it should give you the print out. Make sure you examine this once it's in your inventory as well. Now that we have everything done with Mr. Yesterday, we're going to head back to the workshop and then hand all of our goodies over to Pauline. Make sure you hit Y to examine her as well. He wants to get her mouth, her eye, her stomach, and her shoes. Once you hit her all the items, you should automatically go back outside. X, then A to switch over to her. Once you are her, you want to examine all your new items, including the cross clue as your right trigger item, your SD card, your pipe, and then the printout letter. All right, now that we have the cross clue, you can head back to the workshop desk and then make sure you interact with the portrait. That should give you the clue years. Make sure you interact with that. Very important part to get a very missable part of the puzzle done. Combine the magnifying glass with the pipe, the letter, and then the ink as well as the brush. So four things which should give you the pipe with the letter painted on it basically and that will count as a separate inventory item so left trigger to interact with that. Once you have that done what you need to do is you need to combine that with the fixative. So this is pretty multi-step. So combine it with that which should adhese the letter to the pipe interact with that because that counts as a separate item apparently then go over to the statue which one use wants to go to the bottom and then interact with the numbers use the year clue on it which should open it up which should give you the document very very missable since you wouldn't think otherwise to interact with that cross earlier interact with that once it's in your inventory and then you want to combine the sd card with the camera to get the camera with memory in it so use the camera it's a pentax underrated brand and then what you want to do is you want to interact with that with the SD card and then interact with the slots to get a different interaction. Take a picture of the statue and then bring all your stuff back to John who's going to be in the shop. Talk to him and then make sure you give him all the stuff. Once you exit out, X and A to switch over. Once you are John again, you want to interact with the SD card, interact with the documents, interact with the completed pipe. And that should be the last one at least for this chapter. Now you won't get the achievement until chapter 6, which is pretty much at the end of the game. The reason for that is you come back to the shop as Pauline later. So when you're playing as her and you're doing some research on the bad guy of the game, you are going to get to this screen. Go to search history, go to auction. Once again, this is in chapter 6, so you have to wait a while. And then click lot 3. This will bring up a picture of a chest with some coins in it, and you want to interact with all of these sets of coins. So do the first two on the left, skip the third one for now, and then get the fourth one. This is very missable if you do it out of order. Then get the third one, which has a secondary interaction, which is going to be the second coin from the left. Once you pick that up in the right order, you should get the achievement if you got everything in Chapter 1. There it is, 30 Gamer Score, and that's all there is to it.